Hello and welcome back to episode 5 in our series on vertex operator algebras. Today we will be investigating a new type of structure, namely a grating. An algebra grating might be familiar to those who have studied Durham cohomology, which carries a natural grating determined by the dimension of the relevant vector space. Kind of similar to what we'll see today. I'm going to start with the typical warning about mathematics. Folks love to give as general a possible statement, which often implicitly demonstrates what defining features are responsible for what mathematical structure, but can be confusing to the uninitiated who might be looking for a more consistent storyline. In this case, we're going to keep in mind that the integers are our grading of choice, although following FLM, we'll start with just a set. So let's call that set S. V is a graded vector space if it can be written as a direct sum over subspaces indexed by elements of S. V sub alpha is said to be homogeneous. V sub alpha is said to be homogeneous of degree alpha. Let V and W be S graded vector spaces and let F be a linear map between them. We say that F preserves the grading if F maps V sub alpha to W sub alpha for all alpha in S. A grade-preserving map is a grade isomorphism if it's a grade-preserving map and a linear isomorphism, and so on and so on. Now, let's sprinkle in a little more structure. If S is an abelian group with some addition operation, a linear map between graded vector spaces is said to be homogeneous of degree beta if F maps V sub alpha to W sub alpha plus beta. Did you get that? We can think about it more categorically. Vector spaces are homogeneous of a fixed degree, and the degree of a map is how much that map changes the degree of a given vector subspace. Keeping with the abelian group as the grading set, we can define a degree operator D as a linear map, which returns as an eigenvalue the degree of the element upon which it acts. Evidently, a linear map F has degree beta if the commutator of D with F Evidently, F is grade-preserving if it has degree 0. A linear subspace W of an S-graded vector space V is a graded subspace if it is also S-graded in such a way that the intersection of W with V sub alpha is equal to W sub alpha for all alpha in S. As usual, we can turn this definition inside out by considering direct sums. The direct sum of two S-graded vector spaces is S-graded. Indeed, the direct sum of any collection of S-graded vector spaces is S-graded in exactly the way you'd expect. Notice the diction here. A collection makes no remark as regarding to size or finiteness of that collection. Assuming once again that S is an abelian group, the tensor product of two S-graded algebras has a unique S-grading, wherein the degree of the product of two homogeneous subspaces of degree alpha and beta is alpha plus beta. Notice that the degree operator here acts like a derivation, affording that additive structure. This procedure can be iterated a finite number of times, so that any finite tensor product of S-graded vector spaces is itself an S-graded vector space. So far, we've been discussing vector spaces. Let's promote our discussion to algebras by giving them a vector multiplication. Let A be some algebra and let U be an abelian group. Actually, the U is supposed to be a fracture capital A, but I'm terrible at writing that. So while I practice in the meantime, let's just call it U. We say that the algebra A is U-graded if two conditions are met. First, A is U-graded as a vector space. The second involves a product. We call our notation for the product of subalgebras from section 1. A sub alpha times A sub beta must be contained in A sub alpha plus beta for all alpha and beta in U. Now let's consider some effects of an even tighter restriction on U. Suppose that U is a subgroup of field addition, and let A be a U-graded algebra. In this case, the degree operator is actually a derivation of A, because we can take that plus sign seriously. We call D the degree derivation. And to that end, we can adjoin the degree derivation to A, and this semi-direct product algebra is also U-graded. And to that end, Note that the degree of a degree derivation is zero. Whew! Okay, that's our show. 
Next time, we'll discuss modules and representations of algebras. 